Hello friends, welcome to my channel Linux eHub. Today we will discuss one cron job related error. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like, share and comment. Let's start. This is the two types of error. Normally you are facing file configuring cron job or uh, cron task in Linux using a user. That means in user mode when we are trying to list the cron jobs at that time this type of error we can we will see uh, first one is you john dk that means uh, john dk is the user are not allowed to use this program cron tab see cron tab one for more information that means uh, usually using uh, from this message we can understand that john dk is not allowed to do the activity so how we can fix this issue Let's start and then we will move for the error 2. C R O N T A B cron tab minus L. You can see same error is prompting here. So we need to fix that this one. That means uh, cron John DK user is not allowed to the, do the activity. What we will do? We will modify the cron.allow file and we need to allow that user. Usually in cron job, two files are there. One is cron.allow and another is cron.deny and if that user is uh, not listed in cron.allow that user is not permitted and that if that user is uh, al listed in cron.deny file that user also been denied. So we will add, this, add that user cron.allow file and let's check. I have added that user and uh, we will save this file and again check yes. Now we see the next error. You John DK are not allowed to access cron tab because of palm configuration. So we need to check it again. This is the second error what we have already uh, written here. So what we can do? Let's understand what happening. These are the two configuration files vi slash etc cron dot deny. So one file is cron dot allow and another is cron dot deny. When we added that user to cron dot allow that user is permitted and we will also from this file name we can understand that if that user is listed here cron dot deny that user also be denied to do all the activity. If what? that user is listed in both the file cron.allow and cron.deny. cron.allow will work and cron.deny will not work. That means that user will be by default permitted to do the activity. Okay, This is the thing we need to remember always. So if you want to restrict a user, we must need to delete that user from the cron.allow and we need to add that user in cron.deny. Then only that user will be deny to do the activity. Okay? So let's go for the second error. You John DK are not allowed to access the cron tab because of PAM configuration. PAM configuration means due to security reason in Linux systems, all non-root users are by default disabled to access all the system related things. So we need to check and we need to allow users to do that activity. That file is located in vi slash etc security and access.conf. This is the file. Open this file and go to the bottom of the end of the end of the file. Here you will find one line all other users should be denied to get access from all sources. That means except all non-root users, all users will be by default denied. We need to comment this one. Save the file and let's check what happening. Yes, that means no cron tab for John DK. That means we are succeeded and that John DK user is now able to 
check all cron job related things this is the cron.allow file where we will allow a user and cron.deny is the another file where we will restrict a user and slash etc security and access.conf is the configuration file where we will allow all non root users thank you thank you for watching this video subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like share and comment